8.1 Model Inverse and Joint Variation. This comic is more for Valentine's Day than anything else, and since you should be watching this around Valentine's Day, I hope, we'll have a romantic little comic, I Belong to You. The mathematical phrase, I is an element of you, that's read I is an element of you, means that I belongs to you. So romantic. We're going to start off with inverse variation, and before I even get started on that, Remember back to the very beginning of the year when I did direct variation? That we said was of the form y equals ax, where a was the constant of variation. Remember, a very important property was that it went through the origin. Because basically, this is just a line, y equals mx plus b, where b equals 0, otherwise known as the y-intercept equals 0. And with direct variation, it meant as x increased, y also increased. Inverse variation means that x and y are inversely related. In other words, if x goes up, y actually goes down, and vice versa. So that would be of the form y equals a over x instead of y equals ax. Of course, we can't have a being 0 because otherwise we would just have y equals 0. And x cannot be equal to 0 because then we would be dividing by 0 and thou shall not divide by 0. Our constant of variation is still just that a like we had before. So now you can just note, see, as x gets to be a bigger and bigger number, that y would be smaller. And as x gets smaller, that y would be bigger. So that's why we call it inverse variation. As x increases, y is going to decrease. Similarly, as x decreases, y is going to increase. Let's start off by just telling whether we have direct variation, inverse variation, or neither. Well, if we solve this for y, we get y equals 3x, which is just direct variation. Our constant of variation would be 3. Um, in this example here, we would have y equals 3 over x. If you need me to break it down, remember that if you multiply both sides by y, we get xy equals 3, divide by x, divide by x, y equals 3 over x. And so this is inverse variation. And in this problem here, we have y equals negative x plus 5. Note that this does not go through the origin. We're shifted up 5 units, so this is neither. The variables x and y vary inversely. So they vary inversely. We know we have y equals a over x. And y equals 15 when x is equal to 1 third. So we have a divided by 1 third. Well, a divided by 1 third is just the same thing as a times 3 over 1. When we divide, we can multiply by the reciprocal, right? And so we just have 15 equals 3a. In other words, a is equal to 5. So our, our equation is y equals 5 over x. And then it says find y when x equals negative 10. So when x equals negative 10, we have y equals 5 over negative 10. In other words, negative 1 half. The driving time between two specific locations varies inversely with the average driving speed. The driving distance between Chicago and Minneapolis is 400 miles. So why don't we just call the driving time t, and let's call the average driving speed the rate, or r. And so since it varies inversely, we have t equals a over r. And they say that the driving distance between Chicago and Minneapolis is 400 miles. Um, Hey, does anybody see a distance equals rate times time thing going on here? If I go to solve for t, divide by r, divide by r, I get t is equal to d over r. 
Look at that. So we know our D is 400 over R. So write a model that gives the driving time in hours between Chicago and Minneapolis as a function of the average driving speed R in miles per hour. Well, that's just T equals 400 over R. That's about it. And it would make sense that we had inverse variation here because the faster you go, the larger your average driving speed is, the less time it's going to take you, right? Now, joint variation is when the quantity varies directly with the product of two or more quantities. For example, what do I mean? Z varies jointly with X and Y. So Z equals A x, y. That's all. P varies jointly with q, r, and s. P varies jointly with q, r, and s. So it's some multiple of that. So when I say the variable z, the variable z varies jointly with x and y, a, x, y, and we know z is 60 when x is negative 4 and y is 5, so we need to solve for a here. We have 60 equals negative 20a. In other words, a is equal to negative 3. So our equation becomes z equals negative 3xy. And then it says find z when x is 7 and y is 2. So we have z equals negative 3 times 7 times 2. That would just be negative 21 times 2 or negative 42. Finally, write an equation for the given relationship. R varies inversely with S, so R and S vary inversely. Z varies jointly with X and the square root of Y, so that would be root Y, so it varies jointly with those. P varies inversely inversely with the cube of Q, so the cube of Q, Q cubed. M varies directly with the square of N, the square of N, and inversely, inversely with P. Z varies jointly with U and V, and inversely inversely, with the square of W. And that's it for this lesson. Bye.